Hello and welcome back to the Grey Cricketer brought to you by ACO, India's tech first insurance company. You know what? We're going to get through this one. We're going to get through it together. We are watching this so you don't have to. There's plenty good. You know, a couple of years ago, I didn't think I'd be saying this. The good cricket starts on Saturday when the IPL starts, and we'll be covering that. And before we get to the IPL on Saturday, more good stuff coming out in TGC right here on YouTube and on Patreon as well, if you listen to this through your ear holes uh, later on this week. Sam Perry, you know, I've got a bit of hope. I've got a bit of hope in this game that something could happen because there's a lot of time left. I'm scared, though, mate, because there's a lot of time left in the game. Okay, and there's, that's just a comment, isn't it? Right, sorry, I'm just re- I'm adjusting to um, conventions yeah. of broadcasting. Uh, <laughs> forgotten everything. Yeah, I, I, I've, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic in this game. I'm also optimistic that, you know, 10 days of, like, uh, of arm wrestling, of some dour stuff, is mm-hmm. actually going to have a, and I know I, know I use this word uh, a lot, but it's going to have a kind of a tantric effect on what's about to come. I, I, I think it's mm-hmm. all going to blow. I think it's all going to blow oh, yeah? at some point. Yeah, and oh, I don't, know in, who, oh, I don't know in whose favour. You'd think the home team has a few more what, sort of wily tricks up their sleeve, but yep. I think it's heading towards something crazy. Like the the, the pitch mm. is uh, the pitch doesn't allow anything basically above your nipple, uh, but um, yeah, uh, there's going to freeze the nipple. Some some. I think there's some weird shit that's going to happen. It's, I'm saying that optimistically just to you know, keep the viewers on. It's a bit of a thing we have in our manual. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. The manual we read before uh, every show that we do. It's going to be like the end of like Fast and the Furious, like seven. There was like, an, yeah, there was like an, yeah, uh, a, was a runway scene where, where it went for about 30 minutes and they were just trying to go down like 100 metres. But went, that last scene went for about 30 minutes and then there was a big thing happened at the end. That, that's exactly what this is going to be like. What are the, what are the three things, Pez? All right. Australia starts strong. I kind of went session by session here. So the first session was all sure. Australia. No wickets lost. Wicketless would be another word for it. Alex Carey, Cam Green. A little bit of a glimpse into the future, present and the future. I thought they complemented each other really well. Let's start with Cam Green. How tall is he? Of course. Uh, yeah. I don't know about you. I just had the Cam Green's two metre song in my head. Uh, the entire time, I thought this could be the time. Uh, this 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 could be the time for the ton, uh, but tons seem really hard to come by for Australia unless you're born in Pakistan. So uh, <laughs> yeah, right. like, there was there was one there was one back foot drive from Cam Green when I think like Nazim was steaming in. Uh, yeah. that was that was like, like Green climbed into it with all of his height. It was so muscular. It was it was it was alpha life personified in one mm-hmm. shot and that was ecstasy uh, for me at about 3 30 in the afternoon australian central standard time uh and then but but i actually thought um i thought Kerry was the most impressive man i uh, truly in in terms of both innings uh i just like i just he looks like he's got a game for asia alex Kerry, because off the back of nine yeah. in the last innings like a good swordsmanship mm. Uh, like mm. for Asia, the bat's agile. He's got wrists. Like he's got yeah, hands. a bit of Zorro he's got, shit. He's got manipulation, mm. and he's coordinated. Mm. Alex Carey. I just like the way he moves his bat in Asia. He doesn't look perturbed by spin or the little tricks of the trade in that area. He he looked assured. He he drives well. He clips well. He he yep. keeps the game moving. Nobody mm. ever seems to get on top of him. Uh, reverse sweeps a great weapon for him. Oh yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Anyway, it's just a quick summary of that knock, of those knocks. What did you think? Seventy nine for Green, sixty seven for Kerry. That's what I thought of those two knocks, mate. Just numbers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a bit yeah, of binary numbers, code falling in front of the old eyes there, um, mate. I agree. I agree with Alex Kerry, and you know you can't put aside the AFL background. You just can't. And I, I put that in the context of an away tour, like in Asia. When I see that kind of shit at like the Gabba or at the MCG, I'm like, fucking, just spare me a bit, okay? But when I when it, when I see that in Asia, I'm like, that's right. I am. You are. We are Australian in certain states where those sports sort of dominate the uh, you know financial. Mm-hmm aspects yeah, of, of uh, you know our culture um but you know that feels right to me also um it's it's a tight wagon he's got a tight wagon back there i like that when it's squatting down behind the sumps i'm having a look at it i'm looking like i'm having a look at it okay um he's it, obviously teeth based selection but it, it's a tight wagon back there alex carries a tight wagon a reverse he mate he reversed broom so beautifully like yeah. getting it squeezing it sort of 45 and 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 just behind point as well yeah. um I'm looking forward to him getting hammered um, by uh, by ex players when he gets when he plays that song wrong once, um, but um, but that's just part of the game. So you mate, it looked good, and then well, I think I think 
Uh, the second thing we'll get into here, Pez, um, is, is I, I think we've seen the performance of the tour so far. I, I think we have. Just so, just to summarise, we've just uh, Cam Green, Alex Carey. Cam Green's two metres and he's muscular mm. and he's the embodiment of alpha life. Alex Carey's swordsmanship and it's a tight wagon. That's basically <laughs> sorted out. We got that sorted out. <laughs> yeah. Quick little aside on the Alim Dar decision, that one where Hassan Ali bowled to Alex Carey. Did you see this? And it went like between his yeah. bat and his toe and then it kind of like gripped off the pitch and then clipped the stump and then bounced before Muhammad Rizwan. Mm. So Alim Dar said, well, you caught behind. I understand mm. I understand how he might have seen that and gone, something's fucking out there. He's got to be out <laughs> somehow. Yeah. But the problem yeah, with yeah, Alim yeah. Dar in this scenario is that like he did indicate quite quickly that he felt that was caught behind and the ball bounced about mm. 18,000 metres in front of Mo <laughs> uh, But, like, that aside, that small... Like, yeah. wouldn't you have just gone, well, did you like, did he catch it? But that aside, yeah. it was a bizarre period, like a bizarre little uh, moment. Like, every, he was beaten in every way you could be beaten in cricket and somehow mm. emerged mm. from it. Uh, mm. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, okay, second thing. Uh, the, the the Tang takes hold, he goes. So, this is uh, mm. N- Nazim Shah. Yeah, Nazim Shah that he's seeing, a little skippy uh, there. And, um, <laughs> yeah, rock and rolled. Everyone got green with a beauty. Uh, Nathan Lyon. Oh. Uh, the, one, the one to green was kissing teeth stuff. What would you make of it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sex, pure sex. Sex, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, sort of uh, yeah, freshly, freshly, freshly legal stuff. Freshly legal, like 19-year-old sex. Uh, <laughs> he's a rooster, isn't he, Nazim Shah? He's a rooster. Mm. Uh, mate, great salad. I mean, there's, there's salads for days on this tour. Yeah, don't yeah, get me wrong. Yeah. That, that 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 ball, though, is um is quick and it's reverse tang and it's decked as well. It wasn't just in the air. That was that was off the wicket as well. Tang and and it's, be, it's, it's, it's gone through green. It's been in for pace as well a little bit. I mean, the seed move, it's done him. No doubt about that. But, like, mate, he's – mate, Nazim Shah was fucking – saw it three years ago, whenever that was, but – he, he's quick. Yeah. He's he's genuinely quick, yeah. and so and so is Shahin Shah Freddy. The airspeed of those these two guys, yeah. whew, pretty good effort to to get some guys hopping around on this deck and, and these decks generally. Yeah, and can I can I just say like why am I looking around world cricket than just seeing other teams with quicker bowlers than ours? Like I know like Stark's got mm. some airspeed stuff. Is he is he rushing batsmen that much? You know, no. is it quick out of the hand sort of stuff from Stark? I'm just saying, as an Australian, I, it's my it's my birthright that we have yeah. the quickest bowlers. I'll, mm. I'll watch the Ashes. Mark Wood was the scary bowler. We didn't have any scary bowlers. Yeah. Nothing. We didn't frighten mm. anybody um, mm. in terms of like you know missile at head stuff. Like we frightened on the scoreboard. Yeah. That's fine. Take care of that. Of course, um, I expect that. Well, now we go play Pakistan, and their their bowlers are the quick ones. Come on. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Something to think about. And I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking around the world as well. I'm looking at like Marco Janssen even. I'm Janssen? looking at... Uh, you're looking at Nokia. Uh, you're looking at... Fuck, all Nokia. That. Yeah. Yeah. They were not, yeah. You know, we, yeah. And this is meant to be our best quicks. And I'm getting greedy. Of course. That's another birthright. Mm. I want mm. I want world record achievements and yeah. frightening pace. Is it too much to ask? I want, I want a space race. I want a space race between Russia and the US and then an arms race after that as well, which is actually just a bench pressing competition. Uh, that, um, that's right. Is but, bench uh, the best way to I get want, arms? Okay. So no, it's not. And then, no. well, you can, you can build some triceps that way if you do a, a sort of a narrow grip. But narrow, um, yeah. but if, if you want to, like I want, like we have, we have Brett Lee in that area, sort of 150s, 160s on occasion. I want someone else then just through evolution of which there's been no evolution of the human species in that time. But I want someone to come in by 165, just incremental. I want new records. I want new highs all the time. In heroin terms, that's called chasing the dragon. Third thing is a uh, big last hour. <laughs> it was a big last hour, uh, and Pakistan won yep. it. Uh, yeah, they, they, they started. Yep. They, they commenced the hour one for sixty. Australia got the early pole through Cummins, mm-hmm. uh, and just before then as well, before the last hour, there was a there was a missed catch, let's say, with one that uh, I'd say yeah. generously went between Smith and Carey in that. Mm-hmm. Any space between the two is categorised as between. Um, mm. It was definitely on Smith's <laughs> side. Uh, yeah. Did you do you want to have a you know everyone else is having to say about you know how to do the stagger and it's a great cricketer's right to do that. So anything you want to say about of that? Of course. I don't like the way that wasn't Carey's catch. It's Steve Smith's catch. He's obviously so close that um, it's 
it's it's going to be a good catch if he gets it. The thing is, he wasn't even uh, part of the reason is he's back foot, so it goes back foot and, and it goes sort of down. So mm. that that makes it hard as well, especially when you're staying so close. Mm. Um, it's a it's a tough chance. It's Steve Smith's catch. I don't like how though Carey his position is facing sort of wide mid off already, and he's still going like inside hip, um, like sorry inside edge still. So his, his weight's still going. Mm. I just noticed that with Carey yeah. back in Australia as Having well. A few times. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure if that's happening, if that's contributing to something between one and two. But we've now seen since Kerry's come to the team, there must be about six examples, five maybe examples of catches going between that space. And it's something. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps happening. Maybe you don't know. A part of it's luck, um, I suppose. But that's a that's happened a lot in the very short amount of times that they've played. That's now eight test matches and this keeps happening Semi regularly, and then a game where you, if you create um, twenty chances, <laughs> like you can only create twenty chances to win this game. I mean, you can't mm. you can't keep creating 26, 27 chances to to try and bowl teams out on these decks. So, mm. um, good analysis. I don't know. Steve like, Smith like should have should have made a better effort, but it's a back foot nick, and he's standing three meters away. So it's it's tough. Yeah, uh, it. it that's exactly right. He's very close, you know, and I think that bit gets mm. missed. Uh, I did mm. see Mark War on Twitter say that it it was a defensive prod, and he had heaps of time. Um, and you know, I, hey, I'm going to defer to June hey, when it comes hey. to cord and stuff. <laughs> except I think that June's concept of time, which is a compliment to him, is not representative of, of the rest of us. Uh, yeah, I, I, I thought the same thing with Smith as well. His weight was just strangely distributed for the way he reacted to where that ball was. But maybe that's a function of being really close. Uh, my my um, sort of mark on where the catcher should be taken or not is that like if it's dropped or missed, what happens if they got it? Like if, if Smith takes that, it's an absolute fucking screamer. It actually strikes yeah. me that it's. The way he would have caught that gives rise to the name of the position. Like it, it would have been a real slipper. Like he, he has to slip mm. to get down to that, mm. which I think is where the name comes from. Or James Slipper, the Wallabies prop. Uh, so, yeah, or the um, Golden Slipper. <laughs> that's probably where it comes from, actually. The Golden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, anyway, uh, anyway, big big last hour, one for sixty. If Australia gets a wicket or two, they, they've got the sniff. They don't get it. Abdullah Shafiq. Has a has an extremely well grooved forward defence. I feel like I watched yeah. that shot many many times, uh, just to Cam Green and Pat Cummins and all those guys. Uh, hint of reverse started going a bit more towards the end as well, mm. uh, but mm. Pakistan survived. And you know that th- there was a there was a an LBW shout for Azhar Ali towards the end. This might just be me. Yeah. Uh, it, and, Off green. And he's outside the line. And no one has. I cough Cummins at, no, one, yeah. no one has a look if if he nicks it. Looked like he hit it. Just, but but that oh, might really? be mate. Yeah, because it goes through to Kerry. Anyway, the fact that no one said anything must be an eyes thing. And I'm you know I mean I'm sure people will let me know in the comments. But it just looked like there was. Wait, a is that the one? Is that the one that they 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 didn't review they it? They didn't review it because it was just after Cummins reviewed one that literally yeah, hit re- an outside yeah. leg. <laughs> Uh, Mate, that was fucking Jack. That was Jack Leach stuff from yeah, from Headingley. That, that that kind of gear. It was, and especially um, Marnus clapping as well. I was like. Come Anyway, oh, just get Marnus away from yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, love the energy, but please, yeah. Um, yeah uh, I did. I didn't notice that in the replay. I mean, yeah. I mean, I feel like, so like I don't know. Uh, but when, oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I, 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 I didn't. I didn't notice anything. But you know, like when they when they when they burn one that badly, they're very hesitant to like. It's yeah. got to be fucking kicking all six over, yeah. really, for uh, yeah. them to go have a look. But anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ask TDC. Thanks for Echo. Uh, thanks for Echo. No, truly. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for, thanks for their existence. Uh, without them, you know, then you know. Well, we're still probably doing this, but uh, just <laughs> support. Uh, Will Gun rocks in. So, Will Gun rocks in. Uh, writes in. Uh, hashtag Ask TDC. As much as I love watching the boys have a stick, my attention deficit brain needs these runs scored quicker. Greeny's already yep. seven foot tall, but could we give him Doss's strength? Can we fill mm-hmm. out that chest and get him front dogging on these roads as soon as possible, please? He goes, I, I included this, thought it sort of spoke to some of the vibe you've been giving off in a couple of tests yep. as well. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, is, is, this, is his test bringing enough for our um, smartphone adult brains? 
I have got a <laughs> I've got I've got hope that there's going to be a result in this game because the the spacing of the innings is just starting to line up a little bit and you just hope that this wicket might just capitulate. Hmm. I'm hoping for that because hmm. um, it needs it. And so I we might get a grinding result, which isn't what we need. Um, we need fucking we, we need we need Bukaki explosion. That's what we need here, mate. It's Bukaki explosion. Okay, that's all. That's, that's all we need for this series to mean fucking anything. Bukaki. Um. So yeah, he I played for Porto Will, in the fifties, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he was by wide right. Was a Japanese he, he, uh, import was the first was, one to come over, was, which is strange. That's given right. The period in history that was. But anyway, <laughs> he was a good player for left foot. Bukaki. Not to be confused with Bukowski. <laughs> hey, uh, I just want to say on the whole, like, is this cricket yeah. shit thing? Like, yep. We're about to we're about to feast on two months of like playground yeah. cricket, and there's going to be some yep. incredible yep. skill. And I also know as a human, uh, like, a couple of weeks in, six weeks in. I'm gonna be mm-hmm. itching for a fucking for for two hours of Abdullah Shafiq forward dogging mm. it like forward defence. You know, it's just what happens yeah. when you just get exposed to a lot yeah. of stuff. You're like, oh, I wouldn't mind some new trappings, a bit of new stuff. I just oh, feel, the, the real, like, the real, the real stuff, the real stuff. The real yeah. stuff's happens, you know, yeah. is coming soon. But I just feel like we're at the end of a lot of Test cricket, and I, I'm actually I'm still trying to appreciate cricket in Pakistan, even though you know the ball, like you know, there's no room for anything short. Uh, for example. I just yeah. like that there's there's different ways to play the game and I hope that Australia can... I think they've fought really hard and I hope that they fucking come home strong when uh, it gets serious, as it will in the next few days. And when Australia comes home, there's going to be fucking parades down the street just like there was in 1999. See you guys tomorrow.